Hello, and welcome to another exciting adventure of Havoc Sons videos. <laughs> Cracks me up every time I say that. All right, now, um, this one here is my Tandy RSX. These are pretty rare machines. Uh, they're part of the RL series. This is the last of the models. I think it was an RL1, RL2, RL3, you know, don't quote me on that. I know that there were several RLs, and I know that this was the last one they made. This is the 386 25 megahertz. it's the NASX. Now, I did some unusual things to this one. I kind of tried to keep it all original, but, you know, I did some things outside of slight originality. I removed the hard drive, I mean the floppy drive for a second so that you could see that the only fan in this machine, and there is a fan, a lot of people think there isn't, is underneath the floppy drive bay. And then um, the original hard drive on here was pretty small. I think it was an 80, 80 megabyte um, hard drive. I put in a 420 megabyte hard drive. It might have been larger. You know, I don't really recall what the original was original size was on this. Now here's something else I did that's kind of interesting. I added a Sound Blaster card, Sound Blaster 16. It does have two 16-bit ports there. And what I did was is I put a cable on it that that is set to run CDs, your, your standard ATAPI CDs. I ran that cable out and around and through this Yes, this is a Tandy CD-ROM, exterior, exterior CD-ROM case, but that is not the original Tandy CD-ROM that goes in it. The original CD-ROM ran on a different type of external port, and it, it, they just were very slow and, and uh, not what I wanted to do because I needed that port for something else, and I'll explain in just a little bit. So what I did was I just put in a standard ATAPI uh, CD-ROM that is the same speed. I think this is a dual speed, maybe a quad speed. It's identical, same model as the Tandy that would go in there, except this one was not manufactured for Tandy. And I'm bypassing the back of this. Uh, I, rem I removed all of the uh, things on it that... It had like its own controller for that CD-ROM. I didn't have to do that because I'm running this controller and I'm running it out through that slot. Is it stock? No, but it works just like the stock one does. So for me, that's close enough. Uh, the other thing is that this is a very tiny footprint. It's a very small system. Um, but I like it because it's extremely fast for a 386, one of my favorite machines. Well, so anyway, this is the inside of my Tandy uh, RSX. Let me go ahead and close it up and uh, do a test on it um, because there is something else. Oh, why don't I just see if I can just move this out of the way for a second and show you. There it is. That's a 1.2 floppy and I, I can see there in the corner that is a Tandy now the way that works is for the RSX it did not have an external floppy drive port but it does have your um, standard IBM printer port which this floppy drive can plug into and then you can plug in a printer on the uh, printer out of the back of this external floppy drive what this does is allows me, it's pretty badass if you think about it. I have, I am capable of running a 1.44, 400 gig, 400 meg hard drive, a CD-ROM. Uh, there is somewhere in the back there, there is a stuck back in there. Right back in there is my M, I think it's a MW10 um, Tandy stereo speakers. Um, and then I'm also running an RS-232 US Robotics, that's a 56-speed modem, and a mouse. So all of this stuff is running off of this little teeny system. It's just, I don't know, man, I, it's just badass. I just, 
tiny little system and every port is filled and I got all these things working off of it and it's doing all kinds of goodness. This is a VGA monitor so it has an onboard VGA uh, uh, chip so it, it can run that. Uh, it, for me, like I said, I just love the small footprint and of course it's not all that small when you add all these peripherals but it's still pretty tight. Uh, it's just it's just kind of awesome how Tandy, you know, even though this was at the end of their power surge and they weren't really putting out systems like they used to, uh, there was just so much you could do with this if you just got on board uh, Tandy's catalog and start ordering shit. It was, it was, it's just, it cracks me up. Anyway, like always, thank you for watching. Again, this is the inside of my Tandy RSX. Yeah, that's the motherboard. That's all there is to it. There's, it goes over there a little bit more too, but that's about it. And there's the fan, the hard drive. That's the floppy drive. Again, thank you for watching. You guys have a great day and a better life. See ya.